Good morning guys, so today I am toning my hair, I'm going away to Arizona and I want to make sure that my hair looks as good as possible, you'll have to excuse the sun, it's at an awkward point in the sky and it's like reflecting off everything and onto my face, that's what these lines are, but today I want to tone my hair, I noticed that my hair is getting a little bit more yellow again and I just want to make it as like white and silver as possible and get rid of uh, some of the yellow that's come in here. I haven't been using purple shampoos, which I should be, which can help throughout the week try and get rid of brassiness. But now what I'm going to use is a Wella T18 toner and the Wella developer. So let's get into it. The first step is to wet your hair. This product has to be applied to wet hair as usually you would bleach your hair, wash out the bleach and then tone it. So it's usually done on wet hair. That is the instructions. I made a video on this before and everyone was saying, why is it on wet hair? because you don't usually dye hair when it's wet, but toning you do, well especially this one, you must use it on wet hair, so I will be right back. So my hair is nice and wet, and before I take my hair out of the towel, I just wanna mix up my product. So this is the box right here. The lighting is really bad. Basically it looks like this. I have used this a few times before, and sometimes I've just done my roots, but today I'm actually gonna do the whole of my head of hair, so I'm gonna use all of the product. This is it right here, and the directions say to mix one part of the toner with two parts of the developer. Apply to towel dried hair, so it's wet but towel dried. Okay, so I'm going to put the whole of this in a bowl. And then to make sure that I get equal parts, I'm going to take my developer, and this is the developer, it's from Weller as well. I just got these products from Sally's, they have really good stuff. And what I'm going to do is pour that into here twice to make sure I get exactly two parts to one part toner. Okay, now I'm going to take my brush and just give this a mix. And over time, this will eventually turn a purple color because purple neutralizes yellow and that's what sort of gives it its toning effect. And as you're mixing it, you'll feel it start to go like jelly. It gets really thick and weird. It's it looks pretty disgusting, but that is normal. Okay, now I'm going to take my hair out and separate it. I have my clips here, just ready to separate it. All I'm gonna do is do it in layers, starting from the back and working up. Okay, now I've got my gloves, so I'm gonna put my gloves on and I'm actually gonna do this with my hands, which is gonna make it a lot easier to do these little sections. Okay, and now I'm going to do it and basically fast forward through the whole process and talk to you when it's all done. Okay, so the toner is all over my hair. As you can see, it is turning purple, and that is meant to happen. I use the whole thing, so if you have longer hair than mine, I would recommend using double the amount, so buying two bottles of toner and two bottles of a developer. But if you've got short hair, then one bottle would be fine. And if you're just doing the roots, then even half a bottle I used to use was absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna leave this on for half an hour, and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I just washed out the purple and as you can see my hair is a lot more cool toned. It has sort of purpley grey hint to it and that's exactly what I wanted. This, that's what happens when you get a purple toner that goes that purple. It leaves purple on top of the yellow and neutralizes it and sometimes can make your hair go grey. If you have really light hair like I did, it can leave more of a stain in your hair but that's fine it will fade out over time the bottom of my hair is darker because obviously i did that part first but remember this hair is wet and wet hair always looks darker anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go throughout my day i'm going to dry my hair i'm going to do my makeup and then i'm going to show you what my hair looks like dry and styled all right guys so it's now a few hours later i have done my makeup and my hair is almost pretty much completely dry just a little bit damp at the back but now you can see the color of my hair dry and you can see that it is a lot more cool toned than what it was um, before I toned it. I really love how it came out, it's exactly how I wanted and this will fade over time so it won't be as gray after a few washes, it will fade fade out pretty fast but I love how it turned out and I will be doing it again so if this video was useful then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I put out a new video two times a week and I will see you in my next one